Hello, today we're going to make this cinder um, and moss pillar in blender and texture paint it and then put it in unity. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to jump right over here into uh, Blender 2.8 and we're just going to do a general file. Start with the cube. I'm going to give you some shortcut keys here. It's so control tab and pop up the edit mode. Okay. Up here in the tool in the top bar here, we're going to click on faces so we can select the faces. And we're going to click the bottom face. That's number pad. One. That'll turn the um, your drawing on its front orthographic view. And I'm just going to click E for extrude and pull it down. And as you can see, I have just one more cube pulled down. Okay, so I'm going to go orthographic, zoom out. I'm going to pull it down again. I'm going to scale it out. I'm going to E extrude, pull it down. I'm going to scale it out a little bit more. Extrude it down. And there we have it. Select the top plane. Again, extrude. And we have our basic pillar shape. A to select all of the faces. Okay. And we're going to add a modifier, which is called bevel. And this is basically going to add a nice little beveled edge, as you can see, to the mesh. It adds more faces, but it gives it a good look. Okay, so back out of edit mode into object, so we can apply that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is um, click U. I'm sorry, you're going to click tab control and edit mode with all the faces selected you're going to click U and smart UV project I make the island margin a little larger and click OK we could double check that on the see it's satisfactory sometimes they come up um, stretched like this just make sure it looks good on your model okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click over into texture paint and you see you have a purple um, mesh here and nothing on the UV map. So what we need to do here is we need to add a um, material. And it's going to be the base color. We're going to call this pillar base. You name it whatever you wish. Pillar base. I'm just going to name it quick. And we want to make this 2048. Oops. 2048. Okay. And now we have our first material, which is just a blank material right now. Okay, so we just have this general base white color. Uh, it's like a grayish like a very light gray um, so as we click the material you see that it pops up on the UV map on this side same color okay so to get this thing started we're going to uh, do a front orthographic and we're gonna um, just gonna pull this to the side a little bit do front orthographic and now we're going to add a texture here to the brush so we can add it directly onto our um, our model. Okay, so we're going to go to texture and we're going to add a new texture. Again, we're going to do 2048 so our details are more crisp. 2048 and it's going to be from an uh, up here type image or movie 
okay and then we're going to click here and we're going to get our image from the file from where we have it stashed so wherever the file is go get it okay here are my rock textures file I'm going to select this um, moss texture open the image and now we're going to just by clicking and painting I'm just going to do this very quickly so you see where I'm at and that's the front ortho view so as you can take notice of the um, uh, texture on the model is very light compared to the actual texture color so I realize that the strength needs to be turned up to one and depending on where you um, scroll out to is the size of the texture so I'm going to scroll in a little bit more side left side and back And the only thing left is the bottom part. And I want to make this your own style. And I suggest that you play around with different brushes. It's very simple to um, have your own images. I'll select this one, for example. Or maybe this one, this cracked one. Okay, so here again, turn up the strength and we're going to have to zoom out far to get this one to come in correctly but the possibilities are absolutely endless I'll even add this um, And I'm just painting directly on there. Okay, so here's our new pillar the model. Now what we need to do is, as you can see, the UV map has been painted. Um, what we need to do is click on image. We're going to save as, and you're going to find your place in your file and save that image. Okay, over here I'm going to save my image, and then I'm going to go into file, export as an FBX, and you're going to find your place where you want your image to go and aptly name it pillar 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 that looks like I have one already so I'm going to name this one pillar rock okay okay so now we just want to make sure we send the mesh and we're going to send it off to our file in Unity. And let's just pick this up over in Unity. Okay, over here in Unity, I'm going to pick up my um, pillar. Pillar rock. And I'm just going to click on it. Um, in the materials, you just want to extract the materials, and that'll just pull the material that we put there. Okay, in the model, you could change it if you need to scale it. Okay, everything seems to be fine. Okay, so now that we have the pillar rock right here, we're going to bring it into the scene. And you can see it's smaller, much smaller than this one I have. I'm going to put it right here so we can see it. 
increase the size. Okay. And let's take a look at this material on here. Transparent, we need to change that to opaque. So you can see automatically it has become three dimensional. Okay. And also I like to add the emission color, which would also be the same material. Okay. And this helps with um, effects. So if you need you need emissions and colors, this will help with your effects in the scene, coloring and what have you. Camera coloring, lighting. Okay, so there's our pillar in the scene. Okay, so we'll click play on our scene. And now you can see we have our pillar right here. I didn't put a collider on it, so we'll fall right through it, but <clears throat> We're on the right step for, um, for making it happen. So um, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll make future videos about how to texture this with, um, with a shader. We could do it with a shader or with um, UVs and also normal maps. So see you in the next video. Thank you.